Now, I want to continue with the article, but just before we ended the last half hour talking about um, the disruptive, irrational appearing world of the kids and their instant messaging, we don't, we, if you understand McLuhan, we don't need to call it irrational or make a value judgment on it. I would agree that it is shocking for people to be interacting with a human being and the person is able to stop talking to you and go somewhere else and talk to someone you can't see. That never happened before. Right. You know, and so the, that it would appear to be disruptive. But the re, why do people feel that they have to go immediately to somebody and interrupt their talk with James, you know, at a cafe or something and talk to someone else? That's because for 30, 40 years before that, the insistent pressures of the simultaneity electric environment were already creating a sense of panic in people. It's just that the, the chip technology, the chip body came in to sort of alleviate that pressure, supposedly. But actually, it caused a disservice of disruption of the social space for people. Completely. I mean, since we've been talking right now in the last 30 seconds, I've got two texts and, machine, and my phone is ringing at the same time. And uh, it's just, uh, what I'm seeing, uh, it's like, what is why I talk about this is because for some reason in the last year or two, just from people that I talk to that are already under duress financially or whatever, they, they have a hard time even focusing on a, a conversation that may last five to ten minutes, me one-on-one, -on -one, because on the opposing end of the telephone call, they're getting texts or facts or whatever is happening right in the moment when I'm talking to them. So there's no, <laughs> there's no like... Uh, it's kind of like I'd love to be in a closed room with no stimulus anywhere, sit down, everybody take off all their text, fax, pagers, everything else, dump it all, and actually have a conversation with them and see how they react. <laughs> Those yeah. days are over. Those days are over. Okay. When you think of the telegraph, okay, take the idea of the broker, and today the broker is getting text messages and looking at the, at the Dow and uh, all this super communication, Bloomberg uh, news and all that. Go back 150 years when the telegraph came in, which started to flood in information from all over the planet, that upset the market. And the hidden effect was it created the emotion of multitude. Now there is the group mind effect. It did not create the group of the emotion of multitude in the individual perceptual individual perceptual apparatus. It affected the sense of the group, which is largely semi-literate. And that made Marxism or socialism or the, the era of the working man become a proper response or an, a, a response to the emotional multitude, which is what happens when you bring in the electric telegraph. Now you're getting the emotional multitude with all this text messaging, you know, quadrupled. Oh, and then some, yeah. Right. Now, think of the broker. He had to deal with computers and that in the 70s. And then all this digital apparatus came in. And so it led to this point where, as McLuhan says, instant information reveals a wide diversity of new patterns of change. People can start to see the change. And actually change is a stopgap measure, an intellectual stopgap measure, because if everything's happening all at the same time, there's no change. Like McLuhan said, there's no history. There's no progress. Right. So you start looking for little minute patterns of change. Fake, well, air stats or false patterns of change. And this is where the gambling on futures comes in. So if instant information reveals a wide diversity of new patterns of change, these entice everybody to anticipate changes to come. Now wait, remember. Wait, so, so wait a minute. So, wait a minute. so you're saying that uh, it puts the individual or group mind in the state of anticipation all the time. Yeah, looking for progress, looking right. for movement. And the, the actual fact and effect of the tech environment is there can be no movement, only interface and simultaneity. And to the degree you open yourself to interacting with a lot of things, that's the stress on you. How much do you open to? Mm -hmm. And okay, so he says, because you can, you're looking for um, the artifact the mental pattern of change, you start you start hoping there's change. And so he began to anticipate it. And McLuhan writes, ordinary people are thus inspired with the mania, which is born of perception of the interval, not the connection of the interval, between the now and the rapidly approaching new situation. 
This becomes a way of living, quote, as if, as if every moment were your next. 